Now to the latest on the crisis in Coventry. Hundreds of teachers recently received pink slips after town residents voted the latest budget down. And tonight a new budget was unveiled, but it will be enough for voters to give it the green light. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin was at tonight's meeting. She joins us now live from Coventry with the story. Caroline. Well, Mike and Shannon, this new budget has about $500,000 in additional cuts compared to the first budget that was rejected by voters here in Coventry. But leaders in town say they can handle this as long as this is approved. Voters in town now have 16 days to decide what they're going to do. Residents in Coventry have another chance to save their schools. I think it's positive. It's, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic, but we still need to get the voters out there. Tuesday night, the Coventry Town Council adopted a new budget that will now head to a referendum. This budget includes a $150,000 cut in appropriations for the town and a $350,000 cut to its schools. If the voters vote on this, this still has to be approved. It'll be uh, have much less impact and I think we'll be able to call back. I would hope that we'll be able to call back most of our teachers. When the original budget was rejected a couple weeks ago, 380 teachers in Coventry were handed layoff notices for next year. Then during a school committee meeting last week, Superintendent Craig Levis outlined cuts to most of the district's sports programs and extracurriculars. He says even if this new budget is approved by voters, there will still be cuts, but nothing quite as drastic. Interim Town Manager Ed Warzik says he and the town council believe this new budget is fair. I know it's, it's, a, it's a big increase over last year, but it's something that uh, we don't have an option on. We have, to, we have to do it. If this is approved, Coventry residents would see a 2.92% tax increase. So for the average home in town, which is about $217,000, Warzika says that's about $160 more a year. An all-day referendum is now tentatively scheduled for Thursday, June 13th. That will be the last chance for the town's 27,000 registered voters to either accept or reject this proposed $108 million budget. And that budget also includes a capital improvement fund for next year. That's about $200,000 Warzika says would be allocated to the school department. But again, if voters reject this budget once again on June 13th, it will remain level funded for next year. Reporting live in Coventry tonight, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.